Hi to the boy who cares. Here's my review of the Quali. And this version is the PS5 version. And yes, it's based on one playthrough. And yes, before you all say, um, they got killed earlier. That. No, I've done a complete story from chapter 1 to chapter 10. The 10 chapters in this game. I don't want story. And yeah, I got a semi bad ending. But I'll explain that on my spoiler side later on. And I thought I'd give a quick review what I thought of it. Before I go like you know, a bit into that, I said what the plot is quickly. The plot is it's about the camp cancelers, so end the summer shift. I packing away to go home and this one of the cancelers decided to break the car down on purpose so he can spend one more night with his summer thing. But he didn't realise that is a big mistake what he'd done as he he put himself and his campmates in danger in a deadly turn. So what I thought of it? I thought it was fucking awesome. I did really. And if you're a big fan of the Dark Pitted games and Until Dawn, you know the studio that made those games, you'll love this game and to me personally it's my favourite one so far now. And this is the first time we've got a triple A um title by about t- since Until Dawn. Yeah, we had the Dark Pitted games, but simply a budget titles basically and compared to, you know, until Dawn and the Quarry. Those games are a bit short and less choices, you know what I mean? It is choices, but not as much depth as into Until Dawn and the Quarry. And I don't love the ever about it. Like the first thing I love that it changed one of the biggest things I hated in those games is the breathing technique, the holy breath technique in the um those games. The big change they made in this one is not playing X no more because the big problem I had is you got to put X, you know, it's like uh, a ribbon thing. And the problem is, even like a millisecond or a millisecond late or a millisecond early, it punches you. It is too harsh on you. It punches you so badly. In this, this is a lot more better what you do. you got to hold X and you hold your breath. And in the background, your threat is there, and you have to realize what the paper time to let go, you know, to let go, to breathe, and to move. Firstly, if you let go too late, you're de- you're, you're caught. If you let go too early, you're caught. So, either way, it's about time, and I think this mechanic too feel you feel more, you know, fighting too as well, and it's less pausing too. If you feel like that, you've done it yourself, and I love that mechanic. I and with them releasing the the last Dark Pitcher game this year, I hope they use that mechanic in the last one because I think that mechanic is a highlight of in this game. Another thing I like, I love the choices. Like most of the choices are good and nail biting, and you think you're making the right choice, and then out of nowhere it, it, it's that more effective like we until dawn yeah it had that but i think this one is a lot more effective a lot more what the fuck and you gotta be careful what you pick too i love that and i like the story too which i will go a bit more in depth on the spoilers in a minute and also the glitches in this too yeah did a handful but again it's not unlike mazer it's not like stuck in the background, you notice just one or two things, but again, it's very rare. And the one of the biggest thing I had, or only thing I had, is the biggest thing I had out of the whole playthrough of the 10 tafters I had, was it did class once. You know, it did class, but it took me out with a 2 to 2 error thing. 2 to 5 error thing, and um, it, it done that once in the whole playthrough. And my heart sank because I thought, do I go do the whole two tafters again? No, nope, it I beat it up. It put me back where I was and it, it played nice and smoothly. So that's one thing I can say. The glitches is not that bad. Compared to the Dark Pitcher games, a bit hit and mix on the glitches. At least this one, it doesn't have that issue mainly. So I can play it on that. And so the narratives. I only got one. And it's a bit nitpicky 
because this has been in best of the dark picture games and the same way um, until dawn on my playthrough i thought yeah i'd be i do the boring one where i try to make a one you know not a dick and i done that and got to the point that i think his name is um lion yes it lion right he's meant to be like this nerdy one who listens to podcasts or stuff like that he he don't look like nerd but out of all of them he's like the nerd one and the thing is i try to make him not a dick and okay and then out of nowhere he becomes a dick even though my choices made him not a dick it's like it taint again it's not all the time it's not as bad as the other games they made but that is still in place in this game and it can be annoying because then you set the cars up but the whole point is your it's your interact it's your movie so your 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 playthrough a playthrough is going to be different and the problem is then you're making choices it go against you out of nowhere in wherever the next chapter or even in the same chapter it can be annoying so that's the thing i can say so I, the next bit now was spoilers i will say some of my gameplay the reason i haven't said my gameplay on this bit because i don't want anyone to get ruined if you know what i mean if they see this but if you if you play through the game and if you're not bothered about spoilers you know i go on you now here the time escape to go straight to my final thoughts so i'll get to the spoilers okay here's my gameplay as a random weather just to get his wound stuff for you so that's why i put in the spoiler bit now so on my playthrough i thought i'd do him well virtually no one died all all through my playthrough until chapter six i made a big fucking mistake as um what happened is in a on the chapter nick got bit and the whole game of this game is is werewolves the whole thing is werewolves which i thought okay it's cool we have to get in a werewolf game in this out of nowhere and basically he get bit and in a couple of what i said tafters he started acting weird so i'm getting more angry as the infection is getting into him and he starts to aim um, to to try to taste his love interest abby and it got to the point that one of the guys i think i think it was lion or down one of those who puts him in in a pool and he freaks out and i thought okay that's their weakness yeah it sounds dumb their weakness is water i thought okay this is interesting and yet there's some pot holes but i thought it's a slasher it's gonna be pot holes no matter what so i thought okay so virtually the next chapter in that which is chapter six virtually what happened is while well, it you know calling everything down and nick is trying to you know warm up because he took off the sock and he's back to normal a bit and got to the point that he's all freaking out again and he's trying to attack abby and abby's got the gun and the thing is you get your option of shooting him or not shooting him and this thing too we're in the showers too so i thought is and this thing too yeah it did hint that he can regenerate i thought and then but i forgot for a split second I, in my head i thought oh if i shoot him i might kill him you know me my mistake but the thing is i thought you know while he's all freaky all the guys or, or you know all the gang will run over grab him throw him in the shower put, put the shower on you know i thought that will happen but no it also stood there and nick time for the werewolf went over to um Ari, grab her and pull her head off yeah i thought fuck off you know what i mean <laughs> i've done every bit of it basically and i fucked up on that one bit i thought oh you fucking kidding me and the last two times i fucked up as i killed two more in one go basically and at the end only three died but the but the reason why it's still a semi bad ending because i didn't um stop the case basically sadly as what happened is um emmett was still infected mac is still infected 
um, Virgil Owen is doing better set from Jacob, um, Caitlin, and oh yeah, Jacob, Caitlin, oh yeah, and uh, what is his name, Dylan. And the only three wasn't infected, all the work was infected, and the people who died was Laura, Ryan, and of course, Abby. That's my play for you. And what I thought of the story, like, the story is very good. Like, you find out a bit more about um, the case itself. Like, you find out, because just the thing, in age synergy games they made, you get, like, um, like a, a story tower, basically. After eight so many chapters, you go to the story tower, and this one is this old woman, and you find these cards. She can tell you the hint what's going to happen, and first you find out that something bad happened to her, to her son, so she made a case firstly. That's why I'm guessing based on my one playthrough, and again, there could be more. There could be more answers. There probably is, because I said there's multiple endings all that stuff, and yet. Yeah, I love stuff like that, but only downside is I thought that Abby bit would be stupid. Again, that's a bit my thought. I totally realised like that you can read their way, but why just he just stood there? He just saw him freaked out on the um, you know, he got you know, he got wet in the pool, to grab and throw in the you the sound like fucking front of you. And yeah, I love the choices too as well. And I love that the open pack you know, this is thing too, knowing a game they had an open story, like in horror movies with the, you know, you get two random cards or one random cards and they die. In this one, they don't actually die, they actually play an important part of the story later on. Where I thought, okay, that is a good interesting idea they done there. It's something different we have on these games. I can play from on that. And so for now, I actually loving the game and I can't wait to play it again. So we'll get to my final thoughts. So my final thought, it is a fantastic game and if you're a fan of a horror game, get this, or even, even if you're a fan of slasher movies, get this too, as I had a blast with this. And the choices do matter for once in this game. Yeah, they do an audience, but I think the choices are all and this is the one that matters the most. Some of the uh, paths are quite unique and I can't wait to go back to this game, to go to different paths, see what I can find. I think if I go to give a score to this game, I give it an 8 out of 10. It is a must get, seriously. Now, it's on 9 or 10 hours, no, unfortunately, yeah. But what I play so far now is a blast still. I'm recommend to get this game, seriously, get this game. So, the question I got for my comments is if you play this game, or you got a plan to it, if you play this game, what are you thought of it? On yourself or what play for you had or the second one are you gonna pick this game up if you haven't um you know played it yeah so if you like um you know me reviewing real games in the future you know please leave a like on the, you know on this video and if you want to see more in the future please subscribe to my channel this been a break who cares see you on the next one